Good morning, Laguna Woods, and welcome to another edition of Inspiration for Today. I'm so glad that you joined us today. We have a, one of my favorite verses we're going to talk about today in just a moment. If you haven't been tuning in the first couple of shows, my name is Rick Bradford, and I'm the pastor at Saddleback Church of Laguna Woods, and our desire is to bring a show to Laguna Woods that brings you hope, encouragement, and inspiration on a daily basis. And we do that through just taking a few moments to look at different Bible verses every day. And we mean it for all the community, no matter what your faith, and maybe you're not yet, this is from the Christian perspective, maybe you're still thinking about that, and you are, we're so excited to have you here, because in my faith journey, in all of our faith journeys, it took a time, a real process, and maybe you can think and study about Christianity from the comfort of your living room. Our verse for today, like I say, one of my favorites, be still and know that I am God. Now, this whole week, Frankie Zumbro, I'm you getting your it. name, you I'm getting it. your name. <laughs> Frankie Zumbro is our guest host for the week, and Frankie, you were sharing yesterday uh, about your ministry of Grief Share, which I totally love. And our, string, our, our verse yesterday had to do with God is our refuge and strength. And you mentioned how the Lord is brought in to helping those who have, have a loss in their life. But I, I kind of, time ran out and we didn't, you didn't get to finish your thought. What did you want to say? You wanted to say something more about uh, really what grief is for different people yes. like that? Um. The one thing I didn't get an opportunity to say is that there are many challenges with grief. Sometimes, well, all the time, when you lose somebody, you don't just lose that person. You lose what they did for you. They may have been your best friend. Yes. They may have been your closest playmate. They may have been the one who did the finances or they were the one who took out the trash. So when you lose somebody, you also lose all the roles that they played in your life. And the loneliness that comes in knowing that you're all alone and you're going to have to learn to do these things. And so, and because in you, you have the, this group of folks that are going through the same struggle together. Yes. Maybe they can fill in some well, of those things? Or how, what well, do you say to people that are... In well, what situation. happens is that in Grief Share, we discuss it. We discuss things like, how do you ask for help? How do you manage the holidays and cope? Okay. Because that's monumental with people who've lost somebody because they're, all their traditions have changed and someone's missing. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, from my perspective... The church fills in a lot of those roles. Yes, but not everybody has a church. Yeah, yeah. And not everybody's connected to a community that will support them. Yeah, yeah. And grief share is one of those that, what's kind of nice is that they find new friends, people Perfect. who truly understand Perfect. what they're going through because they too are experiencing that loss. Well, as you said, so... The next session starts toward the end of August. And if you'd like more information on Frankie's ministry called Grief Share, uh, encourage you just to email us at uh, the email that's on the bottom of your screen right now. And Frankie will get back to you with the exact details. But I also want to believe, and we want to move on to today's verse, be still and know that I am God. And that's from from Psalm 46, verse 10. Now, I got to tell you, Frank, this is a verse, I love this verse. I do too. It's one of my it's, favorites. Because it's kind of against my makeup. My I'm not person. always the stillest person. I'm I a little hyperactive. I, I doubt if you, I think you, you have so much more energy than me. It's ridiculous. But anyway, that's another thing. And, uh, but we need to be still. Have you had experiences where you were able to just be quiet before the Lord and you know, where do you do or how do you do that? I get up each morning 
have a cup of coffee, and have what I call my quiet time, where I read the scriptures, I take notes, I meditate, and then I ask the Lord to bring into mind people whom I can pray for. Okay. And I find it very refreshing, and it's a way to start the day. And being still is not natural for me. <laughs> well, I actually, m me either. Yeah. And for me, I need to go, well, I do have a quiet time also. But for me, when I love this verse the most is when, like, I go to the beach. The beach for me is my solitude place, even mm -hmm. though there's people around. But I love the peace of the ocean, and I just think, Lord, you created every one of these waves. Oh, yeah. It's rolling in, and it, it used to be in Hawaii, and now it's here. And Lord, you watched it that whole yeah. way. And so I kind of go through that. And for me, that's my place. Do you have such a place? Or? Well, I enjoy my living room, but I also enjoy being in nature um, by a lake. It's like the stillness, yeah. the quietness. I feel restful. It's like looking at a baby sleeping and feeling, ah. And I got to say, and I don't know if you would agree with this or not, but for me, when I am quiet like that, and people say, well, does God actually talk to you? And those are the times that when, if I am quiet, and, and by the way, one of the times for me also, just when I go to bed, before I fall asleep at least, it's so quiet. And I just, as I pray, I firmly believe that the Lord does implant his thoughts in my mind. And if I'm careful and sensitive to listen, I feel in bed and also at the beach, I just feel like the Lord does talk to me and gives me direction in my life. Have you any experience like that? or? I, I believe that God speaks mostly to me through his word. Okay. That when I'm meditating yes, on his mostly. word, that I, I feel like thoughts will come into my mind, thoughts that are not mine. Yes. An explanation of what the word is saying to me will come. Um, but it is difficult to be still and to know that he is God. And I, I like, that Moses, when he introduced himself to Moses, he said, I am God. Very present. Mm. He wasn't God. Yes. Not I was. Not I will be God. But I am. So when I sit still, I reflect on I am. Going back to what you started to say, or you did say, pertaining to that you like to start your day with a daily quiet time. In a sense, that's why we're having this show on as the first show every single day on TV6. And we hope that in a way, by introducing a verse every day, I hope that everyone, this can be a part of your morning time with God. And maybe this is an easy break-in for you. That I'll just think about one verse for this day. And believe me, you doing one verse per day puts you ahead of many people. <laughs> and it's, it's not that we want to be ahead of many yeah, people. I know. We need it for our own souls. We do. We do. And it's refreshing, isn't yes, it? Yes, it really it is. It really is. And it kind of focuses your life in the right direction. Yeah, it does. Well, that's what we hope that will be a blessing to Laguna Woods. So I encourage you, would you pass the word around? Encourage people to tune in. TV6 puts this up on YouTube in their YouTube channel, and you can view past shows on that. But maybe you can set your DVR to get it every day, too. Because every day is going to be slight, not only a different verse, but slightly different uh, content of the whole show. So until tomorrow, and we hope we see you again, remember, you matter to God, and you matter to us at Saddleback Church of Laguna Woods.